round two, let's go. Let's hope this one doesn't fucked up. So this is the modern one from the past, like, at least three or four years, I want to say. I don't know. That's my guess. Um, it's water damaged, but we can deal. So, yeah, we're starting off strong. It's modern system shock, just without the facial hair this time. Let's see it. A bunch of weird Higurashi. Um, very good Rika. Even better. It's not to cook. And she's absolutely jacked. Good for her. This was done when um, Clipping had dropped a new album and I listened to all of it and got very obsessed. The Slowpoke Page. These were done by Mac. Um, it did these. It really likes weird and experimental stuff. You'll notice that for these first few ones, um, the pages are pretty empty, but this changes pretty radically as it goes on. Like this one. I really like this section. His name is Spotify. I drew this little rabbit friend and then proceeded to do nothing with him. I also drew baby guinea pig fan art for the babies. My wife, the gay page, and this. This is Toothpaste the boy, and he's one of my Furbies, and I love him very much. He's real. He's a real horse. He's normal, don't worry. It's fine. He's normal. Definitely real horse. You can tell, right? It's, yeah. He's real. He's real. I promise it's real. I promise he's real. I posted the process of this one on here. I draw him very much, as you can tell. Talking to me, yo. I draw her as a fuck sometimes. Because I commit furry crimes. Uh. I think you should do what she says. This was a commission. Um, this was very fun. I remember really liking doing this one. This is another one of those. You can see the water damage. Um, there's more water damage. It really sadly fucked up one of my favorite ones that I did. It's really sad. Also, more Umineko. You know, more water damage. I don't know what happened. I really don't. System shock again. This was, I think, testing pens and I got mad. <laughs> you know how it is? Corgi ball. System Shock's girlfriend, Deoxy. You love to see it. This begins the experimental phase when I start rediscovering my love for ink. Um, so I started to gather whatever pens and stuff that I could find and just try them out on paper. This was an Expo marker, and that is one of my favorites still now. Um, I just really like how blocky it is and the texture. It's really nice. Don't... I... Um... I was watching Germa while drawing this OC, so... That's why some of these quotes are there. And then some of these are just things that I wrote down, because I was probably stoned, I won't lie. We saw some of these already, but I'll flip through them again, because... Why not? Um, doing character pages like these is really fun, and it's, I don't know, I like kind of just throwing caution to the wind and just filling a page up with as much shit as I want to. We already saw Clyde, that was him drawing himself. This was an experiment with many different types of markers, and it's the epitaph. I erased a clip because I fucked up and then immediately forgot where we left off, so I'll just kick off here again. If it's here twice, deal with it. Um, this was just... I think I was, like, paranoid. And... Trying to just chill. You know. I was listening to... Some... Techno. This is the marker test page. Again. Uh, and I had a lot of fun. Yeah, this was a dying expo marker, I think, or just a dying marker in general. I really like the texture of that one. That would be fun to try to replicate digitally. 
There was a very tiny, tiny, tiny green marker that I used. Um, and there was one called a super tip, and I was confused, but it was actually pretty nice, and I think I used that one until it died. This is for my good buddy. This is OCD stuff. It's counting controls, runs more testing stuff. Um, just fucking around. Listening to SoundCloud stuff. More Venti stuff. This I redid digitally, and that's up on my YouTube. It's kind of old, but yeah. I don't really, I'm not into the series no more, but it was fun to draw it anyway. Redo. This was a commission for another one of my good friends. Very fun. Uh, more clipping inspired. Ubi Neko slash altar stuff. More altar stuff. More altar stuff. And Fata Morgana. You know how it is. More altar stuff. The super tip died there. More Ubi Neko. Because that quote is one that I think about very often. I, re I used to draw, like, Beatrices just everywhere, all the time. It was very fun for me. This was me messing with, like, um, Pokemon Sona stuff. Ideas. Next page has more of them. Here's Trinket, who I made the fursuit of. It's kind of bad, but, you know, whatever. There's Sprinkle. And there's Vippy. And a bunch of unused space because I was too sleepy to draw more. This is Macaroni. He likes games. And Lotoad. I think I was playing through Shield for the first time with this. That's very much what this brings to mind. I don't know what this critter is, but the shapes are very cool. It's a ray. Yeah. This was a page I did... Um, when I started testosterone, and it's very weird coming back to this because this was like very anxious energy, and now it's been three years and I'm just like, chilling. But it's nice to have this to look back to, to remind me of where it came from, I guess. Hugo! More altar art. And it's a shock up there, I think. This is more just random stuff that's... Green dog, crow stuff, project thing. Um, big chunky marker. This is, uh, you know. And then I think the rest of these might be blank, or at least one of these is. I don't know why this is blank. It's Fata Morgana page. Uh, an acquaintance's OC. This was for my friend, because she really, really likes Orga. Um, it's more busters. More altar art. Gay art. I think this was when I played Three Houses for the first time. This is more venti shit. And that's the end of it. Um, yeah. Yeah. I need to get another one.